possible possible. Microtransactions. DRM. The order DLC. It's this lot of content. Why? Stupid fucking fanboyism. What's up, gamers? Let's go over a couple of comments because the beauty of YouTube is when you decide to delete something, well, guess what? It still appears in the notifications. So I was... Oh, before we jump into this real quick. Don't go trolling these individuals. Let's be the bigger people here. Daryl, Lord of Pain. He's uh, commenting on my video response to Alpha Omega Sin. So in this video, let me quickly sum it up. Uh, Alpha Omega Sin tw tweet, uh, re uh, retweeted uh, a response to an individual who basically told Alpha, way to go for supporting some bullshit all right i'll link to the video in the description box so you can get a better context and his response was quit being negative okay well the funny part about alpha omega sin is he's actually done an entire video on fanboys that's right ladies and gentlemen so this makes him a hypocrite and yeah so that's literally the only thing i'm talking about Final Fantasy VII just has to be a part of it. But the bigger part of the video is the hypocrisy of Alpha Omega Sin. So, as I've stated to the individual, that you're literally responding to a video where I'm not even honestly criticizing um, the game being broken up in parts. I may mention it, but that's not the focus of the video. So, who's the bigger clown here? Because his entire argument is that I'm demonizing people and that um, uh, apparently I hurt his feelings because, well, he really enjoys Final Fantasy VII to remake. Well, my initial response to him was, uh, thank you for the comment, which is why we see your welcome, I guess. And then I responded to him, uh, which I've already explained. He then decided to reply back. Idiots like you that demonize people, I can't stand because unlike you, others just want to forget the BS drama and have fun with a good game. The word also, me, is, he's, this is a long comment. Uh, unfortunately, it's been removed so we can't go view it. But he's basic, he's gonna basically say, also, if you want to look at companies that do shitty remakes, look no further than Disney. Um, well, I did respond, uh, to each individual section. First off, I talked about de de demonizing people. I was like, well, I haven't demonized anyone that has actually played the game or enjoys the game within of itself. The only criticism of the game that I have ultimately had is that, um, they're breaking it up into parts. I also mentioned to him because he's mentioned in uh, the first comment, which you can't see because it's longer than the notifications will show you is that um, I, I'm not allowed to criticize the game until I've played it, which is a bullshit. I don't have to play a game if there is an aspect of the game I don't like. That's like someone coming to me and saying, I can't judge uh, 2K20. I, I can't talk about the microtransactions or the loot boxes in it um, uh, unless I've played the game. That, that's bullshit. That's factual bullshit within of itself. And then, of course, the individual here, after he brings up his uh, Disney comment, uh, he decides he's going to end it with the most YouTube mic drop comment of all time. You're just a 1,000 sub nobody. As we can see, Darrell, Lord of Pain, only has 24 subscribers. My response to him was, you have 24 subscribers, so by your own logic, your opinion means jack dick. <clears throat> So that's all we have to say in regards to Mr. Lord Durrell here, all right? Let's jump to another one. Again, don't go trolling these people. Let's be the bigger people here. Apparently, Joshua had a change of heart, ladies and gentlemen. Stop acting like you're the savior of gaming when you're not. I'm not the savior of gaming. I've never claimed that I'm the savior of gaming. I don't even think I'm the savior of gaming. I would even say that my subscribers don't even think I'm the savior of gaming because that's just asinine within of itself. I do this because I am a creator and I don't like the way publishers and developers are treating this art form. And I also want the generations after me to be able to complete, to play complete games. So, 
And that's pretty much all I have to say in regards to this video. I hope you enjoyed it in some fashion or form. And remember, gamers, if you're not voicing your thoughts and concerns about the shit <sighs> gamers on YouTube spit out on their keyboard, you just might be a part of the motherfucking problem.